Hi everyone. Today I will show you all the creatures and tell some useful information about them. First of the tarantula. The spider is an average creature. It is bad against ants because of its slow attack rate. But it is better against creatures. But it is one of the weakest creatures. Now let's look at the next creature. The mantis. It is better against ants than spider. But it is still not the best at it. But it is worst at fighting creatures. Next up. The tiger beetle. It is better against ants and is average against creatures but is better at it than the spider now we are getting to some more unique creatures it does splash damage so it is perfect against ants but because of its slow attack rate it is also venerable against them Now the scorpion. Scorpion is created for killing other creatures. So it is great at defeating them. But it is just average at fighting ants. Rhinoceros beetle. It have a ton of health. So it can be used as a tank. So it is great at fighting ants. But it is not that good at fighting creatures. Now our first flying creature. Due to its ability to fly, it can kill an ant and then quickly escape. This means it is great at picking of ants. It also does good amount of damage to creatures. But when it enters the nest it can't fly, so it pretty much losses all of its advantages. The hornet is essentially stronger than dragonfly. It has slower attack rate than dragonfly, but other stats make up for it. You can obtain it by defeating the beehive. Butterfly is a unique creature. It is the only creature that heals other creatures. You don't need to kill it to win a battle. You can't attack it during the day. So you can only defeat it during the night. Now the centipede. It is great at picking of ants. But it can be easily overwhelmed if it locks on something with a lot of health. Now game's only legendary creature, the crab. It does a ton of damage and has a lot of health. But it attacks only creatures. So it can't defend against ants. But it can still kill them with splash damage. Those are all the normal creatures in the game so far. In addition to them there are special version of them. You can get them during special events. So let's now look at all of them. First of Christmas Spider. It is a special version of Tarantula. It was available during 2021 Christmas event. Ghost Mantis is the first special creature in the game. It is a special version of the Mantis. As you can see festive beetle is very strong. It is strong against both ants and creatures. Now is a good time to mention that special. Creatures are about as strong as gold ones. 
Porcini beetle is Valentine's Day event creature. It is a special version of Bombardia beetle, which means it is stronger and faster than the normal one. Emperor Scorpion is currently second strongest creature in the game. After the crab of course. If you liked this video so far please like the video and subscribe it's free and it really helps. Christmas beetle is 2022 Christmas event creature. It has the most health in the game. So it is the best tank in the game. Now maybe my favorite creature. Halloween pennant. It is a special version of the dragonfly. It's great at picking of ants. And it does insane damage. Now the newest creature in the game. The emerald cockroach wasp. In one word, it is phenomenal. It is a special version of Hornet. It is the best flying creature. It does crazy damage. It definitely does more damage than our next creature. That is because our next creature is Monarch Butterfly. It targets and heals friendly creatures. It is definitely the best support creature. Unlike our next two creatures. First of shocking pink dragon millipede. It is 2022 Valentine's Day creature. It's really solid in all categories. And finally the last creature. The Orchid Mantis. I don't have much to say about it. It is just about better than average. If you liked this video you might be interested in this video where I summoned 50 golden creatures.